Thank you for watching Weekend of One and welcome back. Now, First Lady Rachel Ruto has lauded women movements, which she says is essential in the realization of the full potential and reduction of the dependency on men. Speaking during the official launch of the strategic plan for the Professional Association of Yanzo Women, the First Lady noted that movements are a key pillar in addressing issues affecting women. Here is a report prepared by Maureen Wanjiko. The First Lady was the chief guest during the launch of Strategic Plan for the Professional Association of Nyanza Women, a program set to foster gender equality, economic empowerment and social inclusion for women. The First Lady emphasized on the need for such movements for women, saying it enabled them to exercise their full potential with the aim of boosting their economic well-being. We can mobilize resources and implement targeted interventions to enable the women achieve their full potential. This will help reduce the psychic poverty experienced in many rural communities, which when combined with a high level of dependency, leaves families with little disposable income for investment. She added that these roadmaps, once implemented in collaboration with the county and national government, will contribute to the prosperity of the nation. The roadmap, once implemented in collaboration with the local county governments, the Lake Region Economic Bloc and the national government, will contribute to the prosperity of our nation. Let us tap into the vast network of support present today and implement the activities outlined in the strategic plan. Also present was the spouse of Deputy President Dorcas Rigadi, who said the women must be intentional in their gatherings to share their skills, expertise, and experiences. Women must be deliberate and intentional in coming together to share their skills, expertise, and experiences. The association has the potential to amplify the women's voices and to bring meaningful changes to Nyanza, to their nation, and at the global level. The change that you want to see in Kenya must start with you. So it is important that we quit complaining and take up the work that this nation has because Kenya belongs to us. It doesn't belong to a few people that we have elected in government that we have put in government and can remove from that government. As the government